Well, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Brumana High School. It's a great pleasure to be talking to you again. And since the last time I spoke to you in this manner, an awful lot has happened in Lebanon. And much of it has brought uh, grief and unhappiness and trouble uh, to, to many of you in the country. And I, to be honest, my heart bleeds for you. Uh, at the time of the August the 4th explosion, I was in Scotland on holiday for four weeks, uh, albeit in quarantine. And when I heard about the explosion, my first reaction was I wanted to get back to Beirut as soon as possible to give you whatever help I could. Time is moving on, but uh, life does not seem to be improving um, for many people. And it's really up to us at school to provide you with hope and to provide your children with a first class education. Uh, they, after all, are the future uh, of the country and they're your future and my future as well. Just as they depend on us now, so we shall depend on them tomorrow. We have started the school year uh, on the 8th of September where our secondary section returned online uh, and since then the other sections have also uh, followed on um, and uh, online teaching and learning has generally uh, gone well uh, and I'm very grateful indeed to all our hard-working staff here who have done their very best to provide the boys and girls with an engaging and interesting learning experience. It hasn't been easy because there are all kinds of problems online as you know, whether it's internet connection uh, or ensuring that the students are actually there when they're uh, actually muted um, and equally uh, to keep them interested. It's easy in a classroom, uh, you can see them all, you're interacting with them all but on, on a screen they can see you but you can't see them. Uh, and getting them to engage and have a, a student-centred learning experience is not easy. However, we have undertaken a lot of professional development uh, and many of our staff have been keen to attend webinars and workshops, sometimes run by our own expert staff, in order to improve uh, the way in which they can deliver lessons and in which the students can really enjoy what, uh, what they hear and see and can participate too. We've even ventured into uh, such um, particularities as breakout rooms where students can uh, be sent away from the lesson in groups remotely to discuss topics and then come back for plenary sessions with the teacher. So all of that is positive and we find Teams generally a strong and robust platform uh, through which uh, we can deliver something like uh, a real uh, educational programme. Of course, nothing beats being with the students and with them being with the teachers. After all, school is a, a microcosm of society. It's where young people learn how to interact and mix with each other uh, and with those who teach them. And it teaches them a huge amount about how they can behave later in society. Uh, blessed with strong values such as integrity and honesty, respect for other people uh, and tolerance. Uh, and it's difficult to learn those things simply when you're being taught them online. We do want to get everyone back to school as soon as possible. And it is our intention uh, that uh, hybrid teaching and learning should begin on Monday. But as we know from last week, that may not actually be the case um, because uh, a lot can happen between Friday and Monday. And should I have to reverse this decision for grades nine, 10, 11, 12 and the infant section, uh, then I will do so by 8 o'clock uh, on Sunday evening. And that will very much depend on what various ministries, health, education and the interior have to say uh, about lockdown, about opening or closure of schools and other institutions. I would like to thank all the staff for all that they do. Um, it doesn't matter whether you're a teacher in the classroom uh, or a technician, uh, or someone in the administration, or a chef in the kitchen, uh, everybody has a part to play in our school community. And under these particular circumstances, it's particularly difficult, um, especially uh, since uh, the money in our pocket is worth so little. Uh, so I am grateful for the sacrifices that the adults in our society are making for the benefits of the children who will be the adults of tomorrow. I'd also like to thank uh, my chairman of the governing body, uh, Hani Abu Jabin, who has provided great leadership for the school and gives me tremendous support. And his fellow board members, um, 
on the Brimana High School governing body uh, are also very supportive and do much to steer and guide the school uh, to all of our benefits. And I mustn't forget uh, the Quaker International Educational Trust either, uh, who are the trustees uh, of the school uh, based in, in the UK. Uh, we have regular uh, meetings with them online and they too uh, are eager, especially in these difficult circumstances, to support our cause. I'd also like to thank those many of you who have contributed to the Beirut Fund. Um, I, I appreciate your generosity, which helps to support uh, children whose education is threatened by the fact that their parents have lost their homes uh, or their businesses uh, or their livelihoods, um, which has had a serious and uh, devastating effect on, on their health uh, and on their very existence. Uh, the Beirut Fund will remain open until the end of, of this year and I can tell you that every uh, last dollar or Lebanese lira or penny or whatever you contribute is appreciated and will go uh, to support those uh, for whom education would otherwise be impossible. On a pleasing note, uh, I ought to remind you that um, Brumana High School has been rated by Carfax Education, a worldwide education organisation, as one of the top five schools in the Middle East. Very much based on our holistic education, our emphasis on values, and on turning out not just good results, but good people. And we should be very proud uh, of this accolade. Well, um, Whatever happens in the next few weeks, and we have no idea what that might be, I think we must remain firm and solid in the knowledge that what we're doing is right and best for the next generation. And God willing, we shall prevail.